How's everybody doing guys? This is Kazia today and I picked up FIFA 14 like I uh, like I actually intended to. Um, I did have FIFA 14 for the 360, hence why I have uh, quite a few coins that I'm going to be spending now on packs. I thought I'd do my first FIFA 14 video by actually opening gold packs, see what I get. I did have a decent squad beforehand, but I thought I'd sell them all and start fresh on, on the uh, Xbox One version. So, let's get started guys and see what we actually get in these gold packs. I thought I'd do a live pack on opening I have over 150,000 coins to see how many packs we can open and see what we get I'm just gonna buy all premium gold packs and let's start with the first one in my old squad I did start off with I had a full BBVA squad and I had a uh, inform Isco and a couple other decent uh, big players as well see what we get in the first one okay so no one outstanding in the first one guys but uh, you know, pack luck opening it is a, a luck end of day, but that is what I've got in that pack. I am just going to literally send everything to uh, send all to club. I'm happy as well that you can uh, have as many consumers you consumables that you want now, because before on the old ones you you had to be limited by what you could actually have and such. So. Not there's a limit on it anymore, which is a good thing. And with the Xbox One version as well now, they've got the Legendary, so that's another card to be aiming for. Again guys, nothing too amazing. A couple of kits and things like that, but like I said, I did have the 360 version, so I have got some of the uh, kits and players already kind of thing, so... Two packs guys, and nothing, uh, nothing too amazing up to now. Let's start with the third pack, see what I get in this one. I have turned my game volume down by the way guys because I didn't want to have the music playing in the background just in case you know the whole copyright thing at this moment in time that's flying around. Uh, yeah. It's definitely not something I want to get caught by. Let's see what we'll get in the third pack. Again guys, just a lot of the contracts and fitness. I mean they don't sell for too bad of a price. I mean if I did want to build my points so coins back up I already did have a ton of player contracts and things like that anyway so... And I also got the West Ham away kit. Again, I'm just going to send them all to club, guys. Sort them all out after the video myself, but still nothing too amazing. It would be great if I could just get some kind of player, just half decent, just to start me off kind of thing, but. See what I do get from this fourth pack opening. I've only literally just got FIFA 14, guys, and this is. I've just literally started up and just jumped on. Ultimate stream straight away. Okay, Ramirez. Uh, not too, not too bad of a player. Not bad center of tight mid. It's not too great at the moment. So, Real Madrid badge. I've already got that. I've actually used it at the moment. So that's a duplicate that can be sent onto the trade pile. Um, on transfer market. Quick sell the rest. Of them. Sorry, quick sell. Uh, send all of them to my items to club for the time being. Yeah, I've got a limited offer on at the moment, which is a consumable one for Christmas, but I'm not really looking for consumables. I'm looking for players, guys. Looking for players. So this pack opening. Okay, I've got a uh, Bender and Hangel. Uh, sorry, Hangland. Again, nothing too amazing. And another duplicate as well. I've already got the third kit for the guitar. Here. Looks more like a Celtic kit, it's different. I'll put that on transfer. I don't think it will sell to be honest with you on transfer, but I'll try it anyway. Still guys too nothing too amazing. I don't really expect to get anything in these packs. I did get a lot of my luck at the beginning of only FIFA 40 for 360, so I won't be surprised if my luck has kinda run out with this uh, edition, but and I'm also surprised I didn't get any more packs for actually purchasing FIFA 14 twice, you know. Okay, so I got Fernando Torres. That's pretty good. I'm able to especially work with Torres. Rating gone down to 82. His rating used to be like 85, 86, something like that, doesn't it? I'm sure it did. Snodgrass, again, not too bad of a player. All ratings only 75, but again, it can be worked with if I make myself a Premier League squad. 
bunch of consumables and a thousand coins. Yes, I will definitely accept that, guys. A way kit QPR, that doesn't look too bad of a kit. Um, so, Fernando Torres, that's not a bad pack opening. Definitely, uh, definitely a player I can work with up front. Because the players which I'm pretty much getting from these packs is what I'm going to be using for the for the beginning part. It would be ace if I could get one of these players that are on the front of these packs as well. Mm, nothing too amazing. Tough couple of Brazilian players. Bunch of more consumables. Another kit, Schalke badge. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly skip that. Nothing too interesting to show, guys. Next pack opening. Still got a hundred thousand to spend, so it's still got a few more packs to be opening, guys. But still not nothing to to shout about at the moment. Again, a bunch of low players, 75, 76s, more consumables. Great thing with squad trainers that they do sell usually for a decent price, and I've just literally got that in a pack. So sent all of them to a club. These two, I'm just going to. Hmm. I'm just going to quick sell both of them. I don't think they'll actually fetch anything on the market at this moment in time. I may be wrong and I may have to sell a kit that might be worth something, but I'm uh, not really interested in this moment in time. I have still got a few more players to be selling on the market as well, so I could be doing another pack opening in the next uh, few days, but we'll wait and see. Ricardo Carvalho, I didn't, uh, I'll be honest with you, I didn't realise that he'd uh, gone from from Real Madrid. Or oh, may have not I've just forgot. <laughs> Getting more contracts and things like that. I think contracts are something that are going less and less in value now just because so many people are opening packs and more people are buying this game that contracts are something that's becoming so popular because you end up getting about at least like four or five in each pack so it's nothing too outstanding but for our next pack opening let's hope we do, do, do eventually get someone decent to be showing off I really don't think that's ex they should put silver players in uh, in gold packs to be honest with you but that's the only reason especially in premium ones that, that's the only reason you kind of buy a premium pack isn't it really Again, nothing to show off in that pack, but let's go on to the next one. Should hopefully get someone decent, guys. It'd be nice if we could get Messi. Especially if he's on the pack opening. Maybe it's a home and omen. Or maybe he's just showing himself off. Okay, so we got Carasso. Um, 81 goalkeeper. Not too bad. Someone to work with in the, again in the net. Um, more contracts, things like that. Again, nothing too much to show off. I'm just going to quickly skip past this one. So I'm nearly halfway through my own money now. And I think the best player I've probably got up to now is Fernando Torres. I'm not too sure how much he's worth on the market at the moment. I don't think he's worth too much. It weren't last time I looked anyway. Like I said, it has been a while, for a couple of months since I have played FIFA, but... Okay, Lukaku, that is a definitely a good uh, a, a good card. Definitely work with him up front with next to Fernando Torres. So I've got a not bad strike uh, strike force I can save for up front at the moment uh, for what I have got out of the packets. But Lukaku is definitely someone I can uh, I can work with. Send all them to clubs. Only rated 77, but we've got to understand that he is a young lad, and I'm sure his rating will be going up in the next couple of FIFAs. So in this next opening, see what we get again. Moreno, best card. Mm. Again, nothing to shout about. I'm going to quickly skip this. Definitely not having the luck I used to before, guys. Before, and I got players like, in my first pack openings, I had things like Nasri, Storage, um, as Jabby Alonso, but big, like biggish players I will get in my packs, but um, don't seem to be having much luck. Although I think the rarity of getting players out of packs does go down as the game comes out because 
the cards have already come out, so there's less of them kind of that needs to be released, especially the rare packs, rare cards, sorry. So again, nothing to come out of that. Would be so sweet if I could get a legendary in this, but I very much uh, doubt it. I bet they're pretty much hard to get. Apparently, Gary Neville's is uh, in has increased to be able to his rarity is easy to get in the packets at this moment in time for this week, but can't see my luck paying off for that, guys. And two silver plays out of a premium gold, my dears. It's really bad. But one chemistry card as well. A couple of rare contracts, but nothing. Again, too great. And I'm down to around just 44,000 now. So I hope I can pick someone up decent in these last uh, last few packs. Even if it's just a few few more players to put in my squad, that'd be uh, just great to be honest with you. No, and if it's no one to shout about, but I'm not even getting players as well. Got a lot of players in that one. Not many of them Premier League players, but Emirates Stadium I've already got. Just, just do that with that, and I am just going to quick sell Emirates Stadium. I don't know again if it's worth anything, but rarity of cards do go down as the game progresses so I very much doubt it's going to be worth anything next pack opening guys next pack opening lordy I'll be honest with you guys I don't have a clue who he is I don't know any of them and a couple more duplicates even though they did cap a make on this game. More duplicates. Again, just going to quick sell these. Probably nothing that's going to be worth anything. Style the packs alone, I reckon I could probably make at least 5,000 back just on my contract. Okay guys, so I got Pele, <laughs> not the right Pele that I was hoping for, but I did get Pele. I've got a couple more, uh, couple managers as well. Just uh, quick skip that. I'm going to be open uh, another two, two or three packs guys. Not anything like I said to shout about whatsoever. Fernandinho and Distin. Distin isn't a bad centre back for uh, Everton. I have watched him play a few times and I think I'm impressed with Molo if he uses his size to his advantage, definitely. I'm just going to quick sell that again. I think I can only open one more premium call pack guys and I think I will leave it at that because I don't like opening the the just the normal gold packs as soon as there's only one rarity in them. Also save my money and just wait until I can get another one. Unless there's anything in this pack I can just quick sell to be able to uh Okay, so that wasn't a bad pack to be ending on. Muller and Fa Fabio Contrell. Both are good players, reasonable players to be selling, uh, thinking. And I didn't mean to send him to my club. <laughs> I really didn't. Um, is there any players that I can just quick sell? So I think that's everything in that, guys. Not a bad pack to be ending on whatsoever. Um, so I'm going to call it there guys, so that's my first pack opening and my FIFA, first FIFA 14 video. I will be intending to do some more Ultimate Team uh, action, if that's either opening packs or playing games etc. And I will also be starting a corp season with my friend shortly, so I'll be uploading that soon. So I did try to upload a Call of Duty video, but for some reason that kept messing up on the upload centre, even though there was nothing wrong with the actual video, so I'm not too sure if it was the video um, or... YouTube messing up, but guys, that was my first pack opening. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this and you want to see more FIFA and uh, more from Xbox One content, then make sure you are in that subscribe button. And thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys.